You can see the nickels are flat on the bottom of the ruler, taped in with strapping tape. We got one at 10 inches, 12 inches, 14, 16, and 18, which is a stretch. But we're gonna bury these and, uh, and give it a shot. I'll show you the first one here. Let's take this out. Okay, we'll start out. You can see the holes filling up with water right away. So this is very saturated. Let me get down here. Push that in, there we go. Okay, there's our first one at 10 inches. Let's backfill it. Okay. Okay, the first one up here is the Garrett Infinium. We have the 14 inch mono coil on it. Um, you can see the settings here. We have it on slow. Uh, we have discrimination zero. Uh, the threshold is right around three and a half. And it's hard to hear, so it might not hear it too well on this video, but I'll let you know how this responds. Okay, we're picking up a 10 inch. We're picking up a 12 inch, it's soft. The 14 inch nickel, I'm not getting a clean response. I'm struggling with this one. And nothing on the 16. Okay, next one is the Surf PI Dual Field. And this one is a 12 inch dual field pulse coil. I'm going to have the, the gain. Okay, we're all the way up about 95%. You can hear a little slightly unstable threshold. And we have the pulse timing in preset, which is most conductive to low conductive targets like nickels and gold. Nice soft, soft signal of 10-ish nickel. Turning down the threshold a little bit. I get a faint signal here. I would certainly stop for this. Faint signal, 12 inches. Let's go to 14. Mm, it's only because I know it's there. Yeah, it's just like a, a wobbling of the threshold because I have the gain so high. But yeah, I'm not getting this. That's a 14, we go to 16, nothing. Nothing a 16. Next we have the Garrett ATX. What we're doing is not ground balancing it because at the beach in wet salt water sand, you get a lot, lot more depth by not ground balancing the machine. Okay, just gotta let it auto tune to the ground. Okay, let's go over the 10 inch first. Nice and strong, let's go to the 12. Nice, clear, high, low, which is that low conductive target. Let's go to 14. No question. Still pick it up at 14. Let's go to 16. Okay, let's swing around. You can hear what it sounds like, just the wet, wet sand. Because we have the sensitivity all the way up, it's a little unstable. Let's go over that 16 inch nickel. We get it, it's tough. It's a very faint signal, but I'm certainly getting a response because I know it's there. But you do hear it. All right, let's go over the 18. 
Nope. Nothing on the 18. Next up we have the Sand Shark. We have our uh, pulse width turned up close to max. I'm going to turn it up all the way. Okay, now we are maxed out. You can see by the position there. Let's see how the Sand Shark does. Soft signal, but I get it at 10 inches. Now this is with the 10 and a half inch hard wire coil. Yep, getting a nice soft repeatable. Let's go to 12. Very faint. Very faint at 12. Okay, let's go to 14. Nothing at 14. Go back to 12. Very faint at 12. Okay, last up we have here, this is a TDI Pro. We're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put the pulse delay all the way down to 10. Okay, ground balance is off, so it's got an auto tune. Now we'll go over the 10, nice and clear. Go over the 12. Okay, we'll go over the 14. No problem. Let's go over the 16. Absolutely. It's very stable. If you look at this, going to the side here. Okay, let's try the 18. We actually get the 18. It's very faint, but we pick it up. Okay, here we are between the two, between the 16 and the 18. Oh yeah, I dig up signals like this here at the beach. That's all the way down to the rocks, 18 inches. Very faint signal, but we're getting it at 18 inches.